Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the brand new October 2019 update for Adobe XD. So we get one of these updates pretty much every month, so I like to make these videos to cover all the new features and changes to the program so no one misses out on any of the new features. This month we have four brand new features, so let's go ahead and take a look at them. The first new feature we have is a pretty big one and it's one of the more popular ones that I've seen asked for. We now have blend modes. And if you've ever used something like Photoshop, you'll be familiar with this. So with blend modes, I can select something like this background image. We now have a drop down to choose the blend mode. Looks just like Photoshop. And I can choose something like hard light or if I don't like that, I can choose another one like soft light. And there's also a keyboard shortcut for this on Mac that is option shift. And then you can use plus or minus to cycle through each one of the blend modes and pick one. And for PC users, that is alt shift and then using plus or minus will rotate through the different blend modes. Two quick notes about blend modes. You can apply these to more than just images. You can apply them to things like groups or even typography. And the only things that you can't apply these to currently are strokes, fills, and shadows, I believe. And I think they said those are coming soon. That's in their plan at least. And the second thing to note is that if you're working with Photoshop, Illustrator, or maybe you have a sketch file and you want to import that to XD, it will now support blend modes. So those will be imported over as well. So that is blend modes. The next feature on the list is nudge and resize keyboard shortcuts. So in past editions of Adobe XD, if you've seen my tutorials, you'll know that if I use the arrow keys on an element, it will move it around. And if you hold shift, it goes in increments of 10. So I do that a lot to speed things up a little bit. But now we can also resize an element doing this. So if I now hold command and I hit the right arrow key a few times, you can see that the actual size of the element is increasing in width. If I were to do this to the down arrow do the same thing but i can also combine that with shift so i have command and shift held and if i use the right arrow key you can see it grows in increments of 10 and if i go back to the left it goes back to a smaller size all of this is happening from the top left hand corner so everything will go like this and the behavior of the elements inside this grouping for example are behaving the way i set them up with responsive resize so i went through and added some of these manual constraints so that I want this to stay in the bottom and I want this to stay in the top. Another addition to these shortcuts is snapping when using the grid. So here on my artboard, I have a 96 pixel square grid set up. And if I'm moving this grouping around with my arrow keys, it's just like normal. But if I were to combine that with shift, so shift right arrow key, it's going to snap to the next available grid. And so now if I keep holding shift, it's going to snap around the grid just like so. And if I combine that with command, so command shift, right arrow key, and you'll notice that the size is going to snap with this grid as well. So that's another cool thing that comes along with nudge and resize keyboard shortcuts. The last two features of this update are pretty similar. The first one is select through overlapping layers on the canvas. So this feature is going to allow us to click through layers and grab elements and layers behind them that are covered or hidden. Uh, so by holding command on Mac, I click once right here, it's gonna grab the topmost layer, which is blue. Clicking again is going to grab the one behind it and then clicking again is going to continue going back to the back layer, which is red. So it doesn't matter if these three elements that are overlapping in this spot right here where I'm clicking, if they're in different groups or what, it's just gonna go grab this layer, then this one, and then the red layer. Uh, so it's going to allow you to hold command and go straight to what you want to select. Uh, so that's gonna save you a lot of time for someone like me who primarily works with the assets panel open and I really don't name my layers. So that layers panel is not open very often for me. It's pretty much dead to me. Uh, so this is a really good shortcut for someone like myself. It's something I didn't know I needed, uh, but it's definitely better than the way I was doing it, which was something like this. And then I would hold shift and deselect the things until by process of elimination, I have what I want selected. Uh, so it's much quicker. Uh, so I really like that shortcut. Uh, so that is selecting through overlapping layers on the canvas. And finally, the last feature this month is select covered layers in design specs. 
So similar to the last feature, this is handling overlaid layers that are on top of each other. Uh, so here in the design specs, I've shared this for development and I have a few layers here that are all overlapped on top of each other. I can simply right click, shows all the layers right here and I can grab the one I want and get the design specs that I need. So with that, that is all of the features for the October 2019 update for Adobe XD. Let me know your thoughts on the update in the comments. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more design related content. Make sure you have that notification bell on. And I know it's been a little bit since we hit it, but we hit 100,000 subscribers. And beside me in a box here is the silver play button from YouTube. And it just set in again that 100,000 people chose to subscribe and that just blows my mind. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that the box is in. I will be opening this somehow uh, this week probably. So I just wanted to say it again. Thank you guys so much for the support and as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.